Hey folks, welcome back to another Elgato Stream Deck setup video. In this video, we're just going to be looking at how to customize your Stream Deck with uh, some awesome thumbnails, uh, set your rating different colors, and of course, set up a nice little wallpaper for your Stream Deck so when it's not being used or it's in uh, hibernation mode, it'll have an awesome little wallpaper in the background. It looks pretty awesome. Just a quick video to show you how to customize uh, some of the backgrounds. It'll be a quick and easy and we'll get stuck straight into it. Thanks for watching folks. Just so we can start on the first point there. So we want to customize uh, the writing that shows up on our little windows. And this is just straightforward. When you're setting up your window, the title, you set it to whatever you want. So if you're launching OBS for example, you just need to write OBS launch or just OBS studios or whatever it'll stand out for you then you hit this little T drop it down you can change the font to something uh, a little different than your standard Arial and you can also change the color now, I like to use green I think the green pops as you can see there and then obviously different colors don't have it all the same mixes up a wee bit but that's just sort of the first point I want to touch on there when setting up your window, your title is what will be displayed on the little window on your Stream Deck. Of course, you will have to resize it to fit. Instead of writing all in one sentence, I like to put like OBS and then Space Studio, which gives you sort of two words underneath each other. And uh, yeah, you set the color and set the size and set your font, and that's the first little bit of customization done. And the next thing we want to do is to add the little awesome pictures behind each window. So this is pretty straightforward folks. If you have pictures or certain graphics that you want that you have saved on your own computer, the same rule will apply. But we will just first talk six, we will grab these from Google Images and use these to customize our windows. So we are now in Google Images, so I am looking to set up a button that will go hit record for me. So when I'm in game and OBS is running and I decide that I want to start recording I'm going to hit that button Now I would like a thumbnail or a picture that's going to stand out to kind of you know that's the record button so you could choose any one of these uh, For example this one looks pretty cool I might go for something more just traditional like this the big red circle Maybe this one. Oh, this one looks quite nice right so we're going to save that in your file location I'll just name that whatever you want I'm just going to re record button test and then we're going to move back over to the stream deck setup and then we're going to drag it onto our window now we're back at stream deck I've just started a new profile there just to give you a quick uh, rundown of how this is done so I'm looking to set up a record button so obviously I'll just go over to the right hand side here where it says OBS I will grab the record and set it right there which means it is nice set up for recording which means when I hit the button it will begin to record I will just set the title at record as you can see you could like what I showed you before you could change the, the font so maybe select Georgia and the size looks pretty spot on and the color will maybe go for red this time and then it'll show up on your stream deck and it looks pretty cool record great red and you know it's when I think of record I think you know the color red anyway so now we want to add our little thumbnail to the back so the next thing you want to do is grab up where the location of the file that was saved and sort of minimize your stream deck screen because you want to drag it over but just before we start that there uh, stream deck does have some icons and there is quite a large library of stuff that you can choose if you're not too fussy about what what picture or thumbnail you use there is lots to choose from on the stream deck icon library but we're just going to choose our little own personalized one and the one we had saved from earlier which is the record button test and all we're going to want to do is just drag that and drop it right onto this little window and that is us voila and then you look down your stream deck and you have the awesome little picture in the background but well, that's basically it like i said stream deck do have an icon library which you can choose from there is quite a lot to choose from there so there is pretty much an icon for almost everything you can think of but or alternatively you can personalize your own create your own and simply drag it on the little window and it will show on the little lcd screen which is super awesome and when it's all complete it looks fantastic Next we're going to move on to the wallpaper. 
And the wallpaper is probably the easiest part of them all. So we have your profile selected and you want to go up to this little cog icon here. I'll bring in the preferences under general. It'll give you an option for sleep. So it'll go to sleep after five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes and so on. And then right beside that there, there's a little button that says sat screensaver. And it will bring you into your documents and wherever you have the folder saved that you want to choose to be your wallpaper then all you do is select it and then what's mine is like uh as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of your screen it's like a phantom control gaming and the little yellow circle there and then when the stream deck goes into sleep mode it brings up that little icon and it's awesome i love it but that's pretty much it folks uh, that's all it's a wee quick video show you how to customize your stream deck Adding some uh, new font, new colors, uh, some awesome thumbnails and pictures for your windows and a nice screensaver. I hope you find this useful folks. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one.